Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a notepad with a resin cover. I've got my paper, I've got my mould. It's a shame I don't have two because then I could have made two at the same time. And I've also got these little clips which fasten it all together. I will put links to everything that I use in the description using my affiliate links so that it's nice and easy for you to get hold of them if you also want to make the project. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making this using feathers and leaf and a flower. I've got this lovely peacock feather. Again, I will put the link in the description. I've got these dried flowers and I've also got a leaf that I dried myself off a prayer plant, I think it was. Now, what you need to remember is that I want this bit to be the front of my notebook so then you don't you kind of have to work in reverse but also almost mirrored as well because if I want that to be at the top then when I turn it over it needs to be that way round so I'm going to be working with it face down so the feathers going to go there and then I'm just going to pop in my leaf and these dried flowers I normally dry all my own flowers but I like this little set they were so pretty and then I'm just going to pop these in and around and scatter them around. Normally with feathers, you do get quite a lot of bubbles. But actually, I find with the peacock feathers, it's not so bad. Now, I do need to cut this down. And I want that to go straight into that corner. So I'm going to cut that bit off there. Take all the loose fronds out. Because I don't need those. And I won't chuck these away. I will keep them because... They may come in handy and I'm a hoarder. No, I'm not a hoarder. I'm a crafter, not a hoarder. So that's going to go into that corner there like so. And then that's going to be on there. And I'm going to have a few flowers dotted around it. And then it's going to be filled with clear. But to be able to get that done, what I need to do first is put a very, very thin layer of resin into this mould. Then put this on and then coat it off to put the last layer on. And because this is quite a thin thing, you really do need to be quite thin with your resin. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I release videos three times a week and they're either experiments with resin or doing projects and tutorials and different things. So check it out and also hit that bell so it notifies you when I have a video out. Oh, I'm so musical. So I'm ready to pour this now because this is how I want it to look. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a quick photograph using my phone of what this looks like. Because that way, what I can do is once I pour my resin, I can actually get it and I remember exactly how I wanted it. And that's always a good tip as well if you want to plan something out and then you think, oh, how am I going to remember it? Just take a quick photograph of it. And then all I have to do is to take every all these bits out, put them somewhere safely and then get the resin in. I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up on the screen now. If you'd like to become a member, then check out the join button and it will show you what all the perks are. And also there's a Facebook group that is just for members. That is a brilliant little group. We have some great fun and we, we're running challenges in there and it's very, very supportive. So check that out. As you can see, I've poured in the resin a really thin layer and I'm now going over with my long neck layer to get rid of the bubbles. And I'm just going to pop in the feather. And when you're putting in anything into resin like this, always make sure that you push it down so it is firmly in the resin. Not only will that stop it popping up and spoiling the final cure, but also it will help remove or dislodge any bubbles that may be trapped underneath. And also what you can do is you can easily move it around and get it into the position that you want it to be in your final piece. Now I'm popping in the leaf and I'm popping that so it looks like it's actually just slightly in front of this feather. So I'm moving a couple of these fronds over the back of this feather. Remember I'm working in reverse here and that's really important because if not you'll get some bits around the right way and some bits around the wrong way. Now what I need to do is I need to push this around, release any bubbles, ensure that there's a good connection with the resin. Now I'm checking my phone, which is what I talked about earlier. I know exactly where I want to place everything and I will just place everything in exactly the same place that I had it planned and I know then that it's all going to be fine. Now I'm going to leave this for three hours to cure up so it's all set in there nice and firm and then pour, up, pour over my final coat of clear 
resin. And what I'm doing is I'm over pouring this slightly so it gives it more of a final dome finished and doesn't shrink away from the edges. I'm just checking it with my long neck lighter and now I'm going to cover it up, let it rest for 24 hours to cure up and to ensure that nothing gets in it while it's curing and then everything should be fine. This is all cured now and it's quite hard. And what I did was, when I poured this, I made sure I overfilled this mould until the surface tension was kind of like self-doming. And the reason I did that is I want to not have any shrinkage and it hasn't created any shrinkage either. So that's a good thing. And so there's no rough edges because I don't want any rough edges on my notepads. So I'm really quite pleased with how that's come out. So let's have a look at the other side, because this is the side that we're going to see. So by working in reverse, we've now got that picture where we need it, which is there. I just need to make another one for the back, and I'm just going to do a solid colour for the back. And then I will add this and build it and show you how to build it all. So this is all cured now, the back bit. And these go together quite easily. All you need to do is undo these little spines that you're going to be using and then just put it together. Don't forget, if you'd like to say thank you for all my videos and help me with the cost and all different bits and pieces for this channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the description below. Anybody that buys me a coffee while I'm saving for my 3D printer, their names will go on the 3D printer. But everybody that buys me a coffee, their names will go on the wall of my new studio as a thank you as well so these just clip on and they can be undone at any time so if the pages fall out or you use them all or you want to replace them then you can just easily replace them and they are quite cheap to buy as well and the kit that you get with these and the pads i think comes with 10 of these and four of the pads so you could split the pads down even and people can change them and replace them. And you don't have to have feathers and things like this. You could have pictures and make them really personal for people if you wanted to. And there we have a really nice little notepad with the feather going the right way. Because we did make sure that we did that correctly. I think it's come out really, really pretty with those flowers. And the pad just opens up nice and easily. We've got a great little notepad. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and experiments and tips and tricks that I give. And knock that notification bell so it notifies you. All my affiliate links to everything that I've used will be in the description below. If you can't find the description, it's normally straight after the video and you just have to click the show more and it will open it all up. All the information is in there. Check out the video that's coming on the screen now. If you want to learn how to paint directly onto silicon moulds using acrylic paint to get some great results. Thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.